Hey there guys! I had a little bit of fun and I made a crinkle book for my daughter and today I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is a Transformers one and I'm going to make a Marvel one. I got this licensed fabric in a pre-cut yard from Walmart. They had a bunch of different franchises, so that would be a good way to find some fun fabric if you want to, but you can use literally any quilter's cotton you have lying around. Of course, I start by ironing the fabric. I'm making the book five by five, so I cut out this template. Um, this square is five and a half by five and a half to allow for quarter inch seam allowance on each side, and I just use my paper cutter to trim it. And I'm using one of my friction colors markers to trace around. So we're gonna pick, let's see, this is gonna be for the cover. I'm gonna center the little Marvel Comics logo here and just trace it out. Now we take our straight edge and our rotary cutter and just go ahead and cut on all of those lines. And there's the cover, and we'll be doing this with each of the pages. So we've cut eight squares here. Um, the way we're assembling this, if you see, is basically we have two sets of pages. There's gonna be six pages on the inside plus two covers. So that makes eight squares total, and you see that it's two pieces that are then sewn together. So we need to assemble these in the correct order. So these uh, two Logo ones are going to be my covers. So I'm going to set those like this. Then I'm going to have Cap and then Iron Man, then Thor, then Hulk, then Wolverine, then Spider-Man, here we go. So when you flip through it, it will look like this. Cover. Then like this. Ta -da. And, okay. So we have to divide this in half. The middle spread will be these ones, see? So when it's completely open, it'll look like this. So these two get pieced together. And then these two are on the other side. These are also getting pieced together. All right, so I'm gonna actually pin it right now. So I don't forget which side is sewn together. First sewn together on this side. It's the trickiest part, I guess, is just making sure that you don't sew it together in a weird way. Then these two will be facing like this. And of course you sew your right sides together. And then the last two here. Piece those together and iron your seams. And again, we piece it together. Here's the cover. Then we want to have cap. Iron Man, like this, 
then Thor and Hulk, then Wolverine and Spider-Man, see? So these two pairs go together and they need to be pieced right side facing. So like this. Now assemble your pages, making sure to leave a space to turn it back right side out. Clip your corners and pop that sucker right side out. Then iron everything to get it nice and flat and square. In the first book I made, I used a recycled chip bag for the inside. Here I have a piece of cellophane gift wrap that we had lying around. You can use whatever you've got. Just insert it inside the pages and get it as flat as you can. Next, you top stitch all the way around. Try to catch the edge of the cellophane inside if you can. Assemble everything, fold it in half, and then sew down the spine. I've found that there's too many layers at the edges to be able to get all the way to the end, but I just go back and forth uh, three or four times to give a good secure spine. And there we go. This one definitely has a different crinkle. Um, so this one uses a chip bag, a veggie straw bag, and this one uses the cellophane you saw in the video. So they have a definitely a different crinkle to them. Um, this one's a lot like squishier. And I guess it's just a matter of personal preference. Play around with what you've got. Easier to just use what you've got around the house than to go out and like buy something special because it's, you know, the, the baby's gonna be able to chew on this and just have a lot of fun with it. And uh, that did not take very long at all. So go ahead and give it a shot and uh, comment below. Send me a link to a picture if you make it yourself and let me know what you thought.